Hey what's up guys welcome to customize the droid in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the bugs of the Zelda next V7 ROM in case if you guys haven't checked the main video you can click the annotation over here this will redirect you to the video or you can also check the description column be below the video li uh, link is available wherein I have shown how to install this ROM on the Sony Xperia Tipo or Myro this uh, this ROM also works in the Sony Xperia Myro the first bug which you will notice after installing this ROM is that the on-screen button, navigation button. So you, in order to uh, disable this option, in order to disable this on-screen navigation, um, you have to go to the settings. Uh, let me jump into the settings. Uh, you have to go to the settings and here you have to go to the uh, display option. In display option, you will see the on-screen button option. So select this option, here you will see the option uh, where you can enable and disable the on-screen navigation button. So select press to disable navigation button. This will take effect only after uh, rebooting your phone. So once you will reboot your phone, the on-screen navigation button will be removed. So that was the first bug in this ROM. The next bugs are related to the Walkman app. So you, you need to download three files. Check the description column below for the download link. You need to download all those three files and then place it on the SD card of the phone. So what we have to do, we, ju we just have to flash those three files without uh, wiping anything else. You don't have to wipe anything. You just have to flash uh, those three files and it's done. The bugs will be fixed. So now we will reboot the phone and we will fix the bug. We will flash all those three files and then we will fix the bugs. I am into the recovery menu now. We will go to the option install zip from SD card or navigate to the path where you have kept it in the external SD card or into the internal SD card. I have kept it here. So I will uh, I have kept it in the bug fix folder separately. So I will select one by one all the zip file and then I will flash it. Select yes. Wait for flashing to complete. Again select zip from SD card, navigate to folder, navigate to the file where we have kept, I have finished flashing first one, I will flash this, select yes, and it's done, again select zip from SD card, navigate to the path, navigate to the folder where you have kept, I am flashing this third file, and select yes. So once all the flashing is done, okay this one is flashing now. So once all this flashing is done, you can go back and you can reboot to the system. Now we will wait for the phone to boot completely. So that's it guys in this video these are the only bugs in this rom and it is fixable so i have made a separate video reg uh, regarding the overview of this rom so you can click on this annotation over here or you can check the description column below the video link is available so you can check that video the, i have made a separate video regarding the overview of this rom you can check this video guys so if you guys have enjoyed this video do hit the like button and comment on the comment column in case of any queries do let me know guys what you feel about the videos that I upload in the in my channel feel free to comment on the comment column it could be anything it could be request it could be uh, your own personal suggestion or it could be your own review about this uh, ROM this will also help other user to see and read uh, read the reviews about the other user uh, with this ROM so that's it for now in customize the droid guys be an awesome person by subscribing to my channel and enjoy customizing your phone by installing this custom ROM ZNXT V7. So that's it for now in Customize the Droid. See you guys in the next video.